This is Paul, the Judicial Redress Act uh, 101. Yeah. What to know a Senate uh, contemplates passing new privacy law. Ouch. <laughs> now, they did pass it. Ouch. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Now, Senate Judiciary Committee delayed the markup of S 1600, the Judicial Redress Act, <laughs> previously scheduled for January 21st of 2016. Oh, <laughs> They did or didn't. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> Reports indicate the Senate may soon vote on the Judicial Redress Act, <laughs> a bill that could have major implications on transatlantic data flows and the global economy. <laughs> House of Representatives passed the JRA. <laughs> Senate is currently considering an identical version of the JRA, <laughs> S 1600. <laughs> to understand why the JRA is important, it's first worth discussing the underlying legislation that the JRA <laughs> would amend, known as the Privacy Act of 1974. Ouch! Ouch! Now, the Privacy Act generally regulates how the federal government collects, uses, and discloses records. Right now, a a term of art defined by the Act to refer to information possessed by federal agencies contain individual identifying information. Yeah, the Privacy Act provides for civil remedies by private parties to help enforce its provisions. In four situations, yeah. Now, uh, when Homeland Security, yes, refuses to amend individuals' records. Mm. Now, Janet, hey, now! I'm going to want to know all of my individual records, mm. inclusive of my wife's records, yeah, my son's records, mm. and any and all records of any individual that I have the right to sue, yeah. Now, the Privacy Act of 1974 gives me some civil remedies. Yeah, where I sue the individual employees of Homeland Security for refusing to remove all the records. <laughs> now, agency. Yeah, the Federal Bureau of Agency. Yeah, um, the NCIC. Right now, the WACIC. <laughs> Any and all mental health records. Yeah. All the 1077s, the 71s. Ah, my mouth! Oh, no! Because 